筆を取らせていただきますぜひお友達とお誘い合わせの上 I'll come, I'll come. I wonder what I should visit for. Do I want some big bucks or maybe to win the tournament? <sighs> and on that note, hello there, peoples of the internet. Tiger J15 here, and welcome back to Tokyo School Life. Now, when I was first recording this episode, my entire computer crashed, so I kind of lost everything. Thankfully, this game comes with a skip button, which I'm not going to press because I. Still want to go for all this, but anyway, <clears throat> you didn't miss much.、Um, I mentioned、uh, Samurai Maiden, and well, you know, something happened. What's up? What are you guys talking about? Oh, Neskun! We were talking about Tomo Shrine's Tanabata Matsuri. Tanabata? Oh man, even Neskun, the Japan expert, doesn't know about Tanabata. It's a Japanese festival, or Matsuri. How did you mention it? Yesterday, a bunch of adults came to the shrine and were working on something. They must be preparing for the Matsuri. Well, I've already read it, but. You know, hang on, wait. That's better. Oh, come on, I can't win for love nor money, can I? Oh, come on! There we go, jeez. Right, sorry about that. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, let me see. Oh, I want one too! Me too, me too. Anyway, last episode. What's this? Um, Last episode, we went to the freaking store to buy a rice bowl for myself. I got one. I don't know what it bloody well looks like. And, um,. Apparently, Karin's a superstar, so that's interesting. Oh, the two came permission from the Lord of the Sky and were wed. However, their relationship was so harmonious, it resulted in them neglecting their jobs. The Lord of the Sky was angry,、uh, angered and separated them to different sides of the Milky Way. Jeez. Orihime was so grief stricken that the Lord of the Sky finally permitted them to cross the Milky Way and meet for just one year. Why not a week? Why not make it a week? You know, give them vacation time at least. <clears throat> on July 7th, so the pair pressed on and worked diligently, eternally looking forward to their yearly meeting on July 7th. The sharing the good luck of when the couple is able to meet once a year. In Japan, they have a tradition of writing a wish on a narrow strip of paper called the Tana Tansaku and hanging it on a piece of bamboo grass. and Praying for it to come true. Oh, yeah, I saw that、um, once when I was actually in Japan.、Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's an awesome festival.、Uh, you know, this is the origin on Tanabata Matsuri. They say if it rains on July 7th, the Milky Way, which is often described as the river of the heavens, jeez.、Um, <clears throat> In Southeast Asia, will flood and the pair is doomed to not meet for another year. In that case, shouldn't they get like two days? I'm just saying, because, you know, didn't happen last year. I wonder how it will turn out this year. Let's all pray for a sunny, clear day.、Mm. I think I've heard this story somewhere before. I've seen stuff like this before. I remember Tanabata, that's it. Chapter 13 Wish Upon a Star, Silent Determination. <laughs> <laughs> why do all these anime. Why do all these episodes have to have like a double freaking sided、uh, like names for each episode? So, this is the story behind that chapter. Huh? Yes, what are you on about? This is a chapter in Samurai Maiden where Shikoi chan starts to write a romantic girly wish, but she can't because her identity will be found out. So, that was a Tanabata episode. Huh? That's one of those things, right? Some kind of manga they show on TV or something. Neskun, you watch those? You know, you should really have a look at the Western world sometimes.、Um, it's full of anime and manga. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, there, there are people that would kill for it.、Um, you know, and I happen to be one of those people. Not the people that will kill for it, but the people that enjoy anime and manga. Samurai Maiden is the best manga ever. 
I was gonna say something, but I haven't read it, so I can't really say. Also, also the when they show on TV is anime, not manga. Ugh, noobs. I guess even Japanese people mix that up. It's not something they're interested in. I'm kind of surprised. Well, yeah, it's sort of the same in the West here with you know people that aren't involved in video games. You know, they just see it as a childlike entertainment, but. Really, you know, video games can, in fact, be a form of art. I mean, look at Mass Effect, or Flower for PlayStation 3, or uh, what would be a good, what would be a good example? What would be a good example? I don't know. Probably, I would say most Bioware games. Actually, I would say most Bioware games. Uh, but isn't that kind of otaku-ish? Otaku for life! And don't you ever tell me otherwise. No way, Samurai. Yes way, you idiot. You're an otaku. You watch anime and read manga. Samurai Maiden's popular all around the world. I'm really looking forward to the anime. It actually starts airing today. Sakura looks very embarrassed. The two look at me <laughs> with a troubled expression. Man, how can I get across to them how good Samurai Maiden is? Just tell them it's Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance, except Raiden's a girl. It's set in the Edo period of Japan. Um, Raiden... Raiden's a samurai instead of a ninja. And... Uh, what else? Oh yes, and no Cybertronics. There you go. Hey Sakura, you get it, right? Samurai Maiden's... Uh, Aloha. Sakura grabs my arm. She squeezes and tugs. Oh, what? Okay. We leave the two girls staring blank blankly as Sakura brings me into the hallway. What's the matter with Sakura? I've never seen her so frazzled before. She drags me to a. D she looks serious, dead end where no one can see us, and then finally stops walking. Um, Sakura, are you gonna confess your love to me or something? <laughs> well, I was, well, you know. I'm so glad it uh, for. I'm. If so, I'm glad for your feelings, but couldn't you have done... It, it, couldn't you be a little more romantic? <laughs> but I'm full of idiotic jokes. It's sort of my gag. Okay, I admit it. It was actually an idiotic joke, but isn't it kind of mean to say so bluntly right to my face? Right. I don't really get what you're talking about. That's going to be a tall order. I mean, I'm literally in the dead world center of anime and manga, and you're telling me not to talk about anime and manga. That's kind of a... This is... Oh, fine. You mean about Samurai Maiden? Oh, why? I don't really get why. Mm, that's a lie. Oh, but, Sakura, you brought Samurai Maiden, right? You read it, right? She was lying about her little sister, so... Oh, yes, I remember that now. Hmm, I'm not buying this. Me either, mate. Me either. When someone mentions Samurai Maiden, I guess a lot of people know of it from all the coverage about how the story reimagines the historical Saigo Takamori to be a girl. Well, you know, many anime and manga do this. Um, you know, an example of this would be Lupin the Third, which is actually based off uh, the classic gentleman thief tales of Arsène Lupin, uh, which is the French gentleman thief. Uh, good books, good books. Really love them. Also love the Lupin the Third anime, because, yeah, that's just full of awesomeness. Anyway, <clears throat> so a lot of criticism pa paints it as sleazy light, but if it really was sleazy, it wouldn't be so popular around the world. 
That's what I think. A good example of that would probably be, you know, uh, High School of the Dead, which uh, wasn't as popular in Japan, but when it came to the West, people bloody loved it. Uh, um, I mean, even though it has a lot of fan service in it, admittedly, it's still a damn good story. You still care about the characters, you know. This this has got to be a very serious uh, talk, hasn't it? It's just like serious chatting time with Tiger J15. I think the most interesting thing about Samurai Maiden is... Well, I already know the right choice, because I've gotten this far before, so, you know, since the last time. Sweet little Sugoi-chan's valiant samurai spirit is such a great contrast with her appearance. The detail that the main character is a cute girl really helps emphasize the elements of a samurai's loyalty and the heart of a Bushido. <laughs> Exactly, the storytelling in Sanam uh, Sam Samurai Maiden is first rate. Sagoi-chan emphasizes. Uh, catchphrase also takes on a new meaning when said by a girl, don't you think? Oh, he's good. He's very good. You, if you don't know what I'm on about, just don't worry. Sakura, I knew it! You've read ton, a ton of Samurai Maiden. See? He's good. He's very good. Well done. Point one Ness. Physically and verbally, yes. Yeah, I didn't mean to make a big deal out of it or anything, but... Oh my god! Otaku for and through. Oh, sorry Sakura, I didn't mean to pick on you or anything. It's just that I don't get why you feel like you have to hide it so much. And lie to me about it! Well, you know what? A lot of people don't like... Eh, you know what, I play video games, I watch anime, I don't give a damn what anyone thinks. And as you mentioned it, when those two girls from before heard the name Samurai Maiden, their expressions didn't kinda... didn't seem like kinda like they were looking... Ugh. Speak English, James, speak English. Still, I think it's pretty silly to have to be secret about what you like just because some other people will make unpleasant faces about it. Exactly! Follow your dreams, watch what you want, do what you want, and let no one tell you otherwise. Hmm? And the way she's been talking, it seems like her love of Samurai Maiden runs really deep. Kind of a waste. Sakura, do you... Right. Do you hide your interest from Karin and Ayoi too? Oh good. I'm glad. I'm glad no one's keeping secrets from each other, aside from me. Because you know what? Karin hasn't told me anything. Sakura hasn't told me anything. Maybe little Ayoi is lying to me in my face as well. Uh, it's a terrible life for Ness. <clears throat> And there's no problem with me knowing too, right? Even if it's for a short time, I'm a member of the Tomo Domo too. So that means it's okay to talk about Samurai Maiden at Domo Domo anyway. Anyway, let's watch the first of the anime together and let's talk about Samurai Maiden too. Yeah, sure. It's okay with me, of course, more like I should be the one asking you. Yeah, that's kind of how it works, but I guess not. When we get back from school, the inside of the shrine is decorated for Tanabata. There are big cuts of bamboo gla grass all around. The lines of many small red hanging lanterns are a fantastic sight. Uh, in front of the bamboo grass, the strips of Tanazu... Uh, 
Tanzaku paper are left out for people to write on. Families and couples are happily writing their wishes. When the wind blows, the branches of the bamboo grass tied with bunches of colorful paper tied. What? Bunches of colorful red paper tied wave blue beautifully. What? They told me they needed to get ready and ushered me out of the dormitory, so I'm waiting for everyone outside the temple. Though I wonder, what are they getting ready for anyway? They're sure taking their sweet time. Oh, hey, I will. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, Hayoi, Karen, you guys took a long time. What? Yeah, it's not like I haven't seen it before, mate. Ah, uh, he's speechless. I'm fine. I have to go completely for IMO, don't I? Fantastic! I can't believe it, you guys are the Shrine Maiden Shamans who serve God, Miko Priestess. As sacred as they are lovely, truly the ultimate form of beauty. <laughs> oh my god, you don't know when to shut up! I agree with her! This is really embarrassing. Oh, I see. But if you guys are helping out, is there anything I should do? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I'm not liking the sound of that laugh? Like, at all. I'm really not liking that. Oh, God. Whew! This is plenty r pretty rough. And the hills behind the shrine, I slash with a blade. It sounds cool, but this isn't a scene from some dangerous suspense drama. I'm just cutting some bamboo grass. The bamboo grass trance, uh, trunks are more sturdy than they look. After bending them, I strike them with the knife. This is way harder than I expected. I'm glad I can be of use in physical labor activities for you while I'm here. Okay, that one I can accept. Fine. No, I don't mind. This is a man's work. I couldn't stand to let you get cuts on your cute hands. Oh, don't say that! Yeah, that's my question! I wouldn't be able to say that with a straight face. Her screaming just makes her more adorable. Stop being so cute! <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, no. Yeah, it's definitely weird. I gotta agree with you there. I totally agree. Same. I, I third that. Second that. Whatever. Yes, ma'am. I didn't mean it as teasing, no. By the way, bamboo grass is bamboo, right? Uh, pass. Huh. Yeah, but... Look, they're the same. The grass is just a thin bamboo stalk. Pandas eat bamboo too, yeah. Sorry, I, I accidentally skipped that. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Dunno. What is bamboo grass? Oh, Dread, I don't get any reception here. I'll look it up later. Since you guys are just helping out, does that mean there's a full time Miko here too? What? I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, when they said outsiders, I thought they just meant foreigners, but no, I guess it means anyone not part of the group. Oh, 
Oh, so that's how it works. By the way, where's Sakura? It doesn't seem like she was with you. Oh, that's a good question. Ah, leave, bro. I hate calligraphy. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I see. Also, is that what the bamboo grass I'm putting is for? Wow. Well, there you go then. Question solved. Answered. Riddle solved. Professor Layton. <clears throat> Whoa. I can't help but shout when I see the massive group of girls gathered on the shrine grounds. What's up with this? A huge crowd appeared out of nowhere. And they're all middle school girls. What the hell is a middle... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm British. We don't have middle school. The girls cry out in shrill voices. There's so much energy. I involuntarily step back. Amiko walks along the opposite direction. She stands with such a tight posture. I feel like her diligence is going to rub off on me. That's Sakura, you idiot. <clears throat> the squealing of the girls also dies down. She's not walking towards me, is she? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Sakura takes out a black stone case and slightly fills it with water. She stands a small black pole in it and gently rubs it back and forth. I record this as a way to... Yeah, okay. As she does this, a line of girls forms in front of her. All of their faces beam with excitement. Sakura thanks the first girl in line. The girl nervously approaches, brings her face close. Fudge. Right. Uh, brings her face close to Sakura and whispers in her ear. She finishes telling Sakura her wish and blushes bright red. I bet she was making a wish about love. Well, you know. Humans only want to be happy. Sakura smiles kindly and takes the brush and paper in hand. She gently... She gets plenty of sumi ink on the brush and slowly glides it along the paper. Her movements flow smoothly. Sakura passes the finished Tanzuki to Kari. Kari ties it to some bamboo grass behind them. As she does this, Sakura is already beginning the next girl's Tanzaku. Sakura seems mystical as her brush effortlessly glides along with perfect form. If you told me she was a r real Miko, I'd believe you. <clears throat> she really feels like a messenger of God. I wouldn't go that far. But sure. Sakura seems impatient. She's politely drawing the Tanzaku, but when there's a spare moment, she glances towards Tomodomo. I think she's worried about the time. Oh, I always looks confused by this, but I get what's going on. That's because it's time for the first episode of Samurai Maiden to start. At this rate, she won't make it in time to watch the anime on air. She can't see a clock to tell at the time right now, so she must feel uneasy. Also, now that I look closely, Sakura looks very tired. I'm worried she's running out of stamina. Yeah, okay. I can't just suddenly call out the Sakura, so I take a blank tans Tanzaku left out on the nearby table and write a message to her in Japanese. But... Sorry, Aoi. Trade with me? As I take a Tanzaku from puzzled Sakura, I hand her a memo I had written in exchange. Sakura, you're really tired, aren't you? Do you want me to take over? They'd probably be happy to have a gaijin write their wishes too. And Sakura sees it, she immediately takes another Tanzaku and writes a reply so quickly my eyes can barely follow her movements. Jeez. Wow, what beautiful writing. Though it's so artistic that it's a little hard to read. Let me see you.
All right, let's do it. The bottom of the message, there is a stylized drawing of Sugoi-chan winking super cutely. Sakura's really good at drawing. I tap on Sakura's back and nod to her. Sakura sees me and nods slightly so that no one around would notice. Okay. And I think that's where we're going to leave it. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you want to, because, of course, no one ever said you had to. Also, be sure to check out the other members of the multicast. Cheerio for now. Tiger J15 out. Bye-bye. Seems to become tense and tingly. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. With a sharp shout, I always strike her fist out in front of her. I'm already entrenched just from that. <laughs> a small Told you! I bloody knew it! There you go! Hopes and dreams are dashed! There you go! <laughs> I'm not